How's it going, everyone? You're watching some more of my Wi-Fi Pokemon battle videos. This is Trainer Connor. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoy this narration and battle, and subscribe if you want to see more of my narrations and battles. As I strive to become better at speaking and better at Pokemon. <laughs> But today we have a battle versus Flare, aka Runesway. If you think that we battle too much, it's not really. We do a lot of practice battles and most of them I destroy him and some days that he destroys me in battle, but no, we we battle quite frequently, but not a lot really. This was a fantastic battle that we had here. Looking at my side of the field, there's a Bishop, Zapdos, Clefable, which I haven't used before. I'm really excited to use it. Hopefully I use it correctly. And then Verizian, which I haven't used Verizian since Black and White. If you want to see it in action, be sure to hit the Black and White Battles playlist on my channel. And Lulicum. Lulicum is a Pokemon that I would never use. It just doesn't look very useful. But when I found out that I can get Rock Polish, then I was thinking, all right, you know, let's try it out. And it actually works out in this battle. Last but not least, we have Dusclops. Eviolite. My opponent has some very interesting Pokemon. I have to fear the Absol, the Altaria, and maybe Samurott. Samurott's been... Well, even though it's my favorite Pokemon, I don't really like chasing it. If I have it on my own team, I can dig it. So, I guess the only things I have to fear are going to probably be... Because, okay, Golob has Stealth Ox, right? So, I mean, I don't have any graphic spinners. But really, I think it's just Zapdos that only fears from rocks. Everything else is fine. So, I guess we're going to have to fear the Samurai and Absol, maybe cause if it's Choice Scarf and Altaria. Altaria could go Mega and so can Absol. Alright, without further ado, let's get to this battle right here, right now. I expected my opponent to lead out with Golem. So, I decided to lead out with Perseus, the, the Bishop. I forgot for a second there. Oh well. I go for Sword Stance knowing that he could go for Stealth Ox, guys. I have a plus two attack to my Bisharp here, which is fantastic. I'm like, okay, I have a Focus Sash, so I know I can probably take out Golem, because I know he has Sturdy as well. And that worked out, but he has the Rocky Helmet. So, <laughs> he just kills me off with an Earthquake. Ruins way, you, you did a really good job with that Rocky Helmet, because I had a Focus Sash, I lived one move, and we've taken you out, forced to switch out, maybe, but you called my bluff right there. Congratulations on carrying a Rocky Helmet on your Golem. I was thinking of going for Rock Polish, expecting a switch out, but I decided to go for the Moon Blast to take out the Golem. For some reason, my opponent goes in Absol, I'm not really sure why. He was probably predicting a rock type move, maybe? I'm not really sure. So we get a KO with Lunatone for the first time on my channel. And the first time ever, actually. I don't want to stay in with the Samurai here, so I switch out into my Clefable, who has really good defenses, as you can see. This is a bulky Clefable. I have two Clefable. This one is Clara, and the other one is Roviera. Clara is the one with Thunder Wave. And I believe I go for it. Or if not, then I guess I got the wrong Clefable. Yep, we have Thunder Wave. I'm going to paralyze the Tauros, which is excellent, because if it's Choice Bandit or Choice Scarf, actually, then I guess I mirrored it on the speed portion of things. And here I wanted to wish up expecting a rock climb or a thrash, something like that, but he gets paralyzed. We're going to switch out and hopefully we can take a hit. I decided to bring in Verizon because Verizon is a fighting type Pokemon. I have close combat 
which is why I made that decision. But it gets paralyzed again, so that's hacks for you. I get the useless wish, which I mean, alright, well, I don't take any stuff off damage. That is something. Now, another threat we have to deal with, actually, this could be the only threat I have to face now because Absol is gone. We have to face Alcaria, who is going to go Mega. Unfortunately, I don't have anything for Altaria. We have to do some chip damage. That way I can bring in something for free and I could probably outspeed. I get a critical hit which actually doesn't matter just because of how bulky the thing is. That was a critical hit and that did nothing actually. Here I go for another Zen headlet. There's no real point in working up anymore because I already went for one and that was a critical hit the first time and it's like Arcaria, I hate your bulk. That's just not cool. So finally we switch out and go into dust cloths. I have to burn it somehow and maybe go for pain split if we have to. I have pain split, toxic, nightshade, and will o' wisp. He goes for hyper beam. I totally forgot about the pistolate ability. That's because Pixelate will make it to that Hyper Beam, even though it's a normal type move, it's going to turn into a Fairy type. Now, fortunately, I do take the Hyper Beam okay, and I can go for Pain Split because he has to recharge for a turn. I go for the Will Wisp on the next turn, and finally we have some momentum because now he's going to be taking damage every single turn. Now, he could go for Roost, which could be a pain in the butt if I had Caustic instead of Will-O-Wisp. Then that would be a much better call, but that's neither here nor there. I go for Nightshade, just doing a little bit more damage. And surprisingly, even though I have no special attack EVs, that Nightshade did a little bit more than I expected it to do. Now, I lose... Oh, we almost do. I was about to say I would lose my dust cross right here, but you know what? We live. Dust cross has another soul inside of him. Whatever that means. Anyway, we kick out Alcaria. I was going to have a huge issue with Alcaria, but we made it through with my dust cross here. Fantastic. I want to try to burn the samurai, but he has Aqua Jet, unfortunately. I lose Dust Cross, but you know what? We have Ryzen still. We could probably use him a little bit more. Go for the Leaf Blade, but that's kind of obvious of a move to go for. He switches out, which is good. I expected him to switch out because of the expected Leaf Blade. So I go for Close Combat, and Ruins Way did a great job with this. He decides to Godfather his golem, and I I totally forgot about him, actually. And, of course, I get hit by the Rocky Helmet. He goes to the bell, his little gink. I faced him before, so I know what to expect from it, but I guess for Isaiah, I wasn't really sure. He was switching to Zapdos, and, of course, I take the Stealth Rock damage, but I have Roost on this set. I expected the Energy Ball. So that was an easy switch in, of course. I expected him to switch out again. I roost up. He goes with a big boss, the uh, Toros, who is paralyzed. That is amazing. But you know what? I I'm not really going to rely on the heat wave, guys. I'm, I mean, really, it's a 10% chance, but I can't really do that because he's paralyzed. Which I guess that could be a good trade off here. He goes for Wild Charge after I go for that Thunderbolt. He doesn't get paralyzed for some reason. Because if I go for Thunderbolt, it should be paralyzed every single time. I go for Volt Switch after that. Kick out Tauros. And that means I'm in for some really awesome momentum. In this fight. I finally go back into Moonface. Moonface, you're doing a great job. You got KO earlier. Let's see if you can do it again. He goes back in a little again. I have Ice Beam. And we can probably take out Logan if it's not bulky, and we actually take him out. So I'm thinking, okay, Logan might be an offensive variant. Just saying. 
the Samurai is coming back in for more. And I have Moonblast. I hit the Samurai for some damage. I was thinking, okay, I could probably get the special attack drop, but no. He goes for Sword Stance, and this is scary because, of course, Aqua Jet is going to take me out. And for some reason, I thought I could take it, but no, of course not. Moon Phase, you don't have that much defense. Maybe at full health, you might be able to take a hit. Maybe? I'm not really sure. I go back into Zapdos thinking, okay, I can probably take a Aqua Jet from him, but I totally forgot about the stupid Stealth Rock damage. What the heck? Aqua Jet is going to KO me, and finally I can go back into Clefable and clean things up here. Clefable, let's go ahead and finish this fight off. Because, Clara, you have a lot of defenses. Of course we can do this. So, let's go ahead and take care of this thing. We know we can take an Aqua Jet. There you go, like a boss. Alright guys, so that's it for now. If you enjoyed this battle, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Wi-Fi battles. And check out my post channel in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye now.